Today I'm buzzing into Chickabee to check out the latest and greatest microbrewery, Leadfoot Brewing, specializing in pilsners and lagers. I'm joined now by co-owner and brewmaster Jeff Thibodeau. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in. This is great. And it, you're freshly opened here at Leadfoot Brewery. We're, we're newbies. You're newbies, but you have a lot to offer right out the gate. We do, um, and we'll have more as, as we move along and progress and, and come out with some more styles of beer. We have a double IPA coming out that we're really excited about that's got a lot of flavor. So, Well, let's start with what you have right now. What are you specializing in? Our specialty is our German Pilsner. Uh, mm -hmm. Pat, myself, we're huge Pilsner people. Not a lot of microbreweries are making Pilsners and lagers because they tie right. up some equipment. So so we have a traditional German Czech style Pilsner that has German malt and Czech hops and it is delicious and it reminds me of being back in Prague. And you've been to Prague so this uh, is... That's where it all started. You had a lot to live up to as uh, far as the flavor goes there. It's tough to do. We've been working on it a long time and we couldn't be happier with the way it's come out. And what else do you have going on? We have a light American lager which is our take on a PBR or a Schlitz. It's mm -hmm. just a nice easy drinking beer. Uh, mm -hmm. Not so much as flavorful as the German Pilsner, but just an everyday good drinking beer. Easy for the summer. Very easy for the summer, but there is another option that's unique mm -hmm. to us. Is it's a lager called Uno Mas, with a Mexican yeast strain. Love it is name. a flavor punch for a light beer. Has a nice malty sweetness with some flower notes, and it's a surprisingly huge seller here at the brewery. And I'm sure it will be as we move forward as well. Yeah. That'll be everybody's lawnmower beer this summer, I think. <laughs> so guys won't mind cutting the lawn for one for or two Uno extra. Mas. Exactly, Just for Uno, Uno Mas. Mas. And uh, lager as well. That is a lager as well. Yep, lager. so it's nice and light. We, uh, we do have an IPA offering that's mm -hmm. made from all local ingredients. It's the Piner Valley IPA. All the malt comes from Valley Malt in Hadley. And all the hops come from Northfield Mass at Four Star Farm. So we couldn't be happier with the way that mm -hmm. turned out. Uh, very different from a New England style IPA that people are drinking. Sure. This is more of a traditional. British style IPA uh, similar to a Sierra Nevada but it's a good session beer at 4.4 alcohol and we're trying to make a majority of our beers in that alcohol range where they're easy drinking and session beers below 5254. Which as we mentioned summer's on the way people need that when you're in the sun and you're just hanging out. Crisp, clean, refreshing, not afraid to have more than one. Mm -hmm. And right now people can get these right here at the brewery, but do you have plans so people can take this home with them as well? We do. We'll be uh, waiting on label approval from the federal government. That should come any day now. We'll have our uh, printers make the labels up. It's about a three-week lead time, but I imagine by mid to late June we will have crawlers available. 32-ounce cans, grab and go. They'll be in a cooler. People can just walk in and take beer to go for the weekend. That's fantastic. And if people want to come into the brewery and hang out, what can they expect? They can expect food trucks trucks outside. We're not going to make any food here, but we want a nice atmosphere. We'll have some ball games on because it is summer and the Red Sox are doing well. The Bruins are doing fantastic, so come on in for the games here. We'll have those on as well. And you have coffee for people who don't. There is a non-alcoholic option, which is a nitro cold brew coffee uh, made with a local coffee roaster. We came up with a blend that fits us. It pours just like a Guinness, so if oh, anybody wants to feel like they're being a part of the action. Yep. It, it settles like a Guinness and, <laughs> and it tastes delicious. But zero percent alcohol. So Jeff, I'll cheers to that. Let me know your hours and what days people can come in. Thursday and Friday will be open four to eight-ish and Saturday 12 to six-ish and Sunday 12 to six. Fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. 